Hi everyone, you're welcome to Kema Freak and it's the first part of our pants making series where you'll be learning how to take body measurement for pants. Before I start, my name is Kemi Omorugwe, I'm the creative director of Kema Freak Fashion. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please kindly do so, okay? That would mean a lot to me, thank you. Okay, so I'll be teaching you how to take body measurement for pants. Okay, pants is a general name for palazzo, trouser, jeans, boot cut, etc. So if you have a basic pant block, you can modify it to create any of this, depending on how much you are fanning out your hip, thigh, knee, and the ankle circumferences. Okay, so I'll be sitting down just so you can see my face properly and still see what I'll be doing on the mannequin well. Okay, so now we'll be taking our vertical measurement. So you need to take from the waist, you have to decide if you're working for someone, maybe you're making the pant for another person, you can ask where the person is comfortable with. Where do you usually, you ask your client, where do you usually put your trouser? Do you want it here? So that will help you to locate the best waist line for your client so you take from the waistline to the most prominent part of the tie which is the hip for most people there's a standard for most people it's between eight to nine inches okay so you can work with that on the average okay but it's still nice if you can take your measurement so mark that and secondly you need the crotch depth okay to get the crotch depth i'll attach a picture somewhere on the screen where you can see how to take the crotch depth but another method you can use is to take the full length of your pants the full length you have to decide whether you want a three quarter or whatever you want to do okay just take the full length okay so from that point as well you come inward and take another length from this inner part of the tie to that point okay that will give you the inseam so you subtract this inseam from the full length so that will give you the crotch depth so the crotch is like from the waist to this part of this part of your body that's the crouch okay so another method you can use is the one attached to the screen where you can ask your client to sit on a firm surface, not a cushion chair. Okay, your client has to be sitting on a firm surface. Then you measure from the hip, sorry, from the waist to the hard surface. So that will give you the crotch depth. And if you have taken the measurements well, that will actually be the same thing with what you will get by using the second method. But next, so we have our waist to hip. Then you take your waist to knee waist to knee and then you take the full length of your pants and that's that with the vertical measurement you need to take pretty easy right okay so now we'll talk of the horizontal measurements which are the circumferences so you go from your at the waist and measure around you measure around the waistline to get the waist circumference tightly you measure it tightly to get the waist circumference you come to the hip, place your tape properly, be sure you are going through the largest part of the hip, okay, so you, you don't have any error with the measurement, you make any er errors with the measurement. So take around the hip and you record whatever you have gotten. So the next thing we'll be doing is to take your tie circumference. So come this way on one of your legs and take it round. That will be your tie circumference. And you go to the knee and take it round. So for the knee, you have to ask your clients to bend the nail a little bit, okay? Just to allow for a little more room. Because when you take the conference tightly, you your client will be able to move properly, okay? So ask your client to bend the knee just so you can increase the width a little bit. Are you seeing that? So what I have this way is different if I fold my leg a little bit. So it kind of increases the near circumference. 
So that's what you take for the next circumference. And at the ankle, so if you're working with a stretchy fabric, you can just go ahead and take around ankle, knowing fully well that when you're about to pull it out, when you're pulling out your pants, you're not going to have issue because of the stretch. But if you're working with a fabric that is not stretchy, this is so what you should do. Just taking the ankle round like this, if it's too tight, then you won't be able to pull down the pant. Okay, so you have to do this. You have to do this. I'm taking through the heel, through the heel this way. Okay, so that way you know that when you're pulling your trouser, that's like the the widest part when you're pulling your pants or trouser. So if you have taken this measurement, you won't have any issue. But if you had done this, then there will have been issue. So I hope that's well understood. And that's it with the measurement for pant making. Note that if you're making a fitted pant with a non-stretchy fabric, I would advise you add one inch to all your circumferences aside from the waist okay so you add one inch to the hip you add one inch to the tie that's before drafting okay assuming your hip circumference is 40 inches so work with 41 inch also for the knee and for the heel this is just to allow for some freedom you, want, you don't want a very tight pants that you can't move well with you can't sit on so if you're making a fitted pants with a non-stretchy fabric add some allowances before you start working with the measurement so thank you very much for watching watch the next video where i'll be teaching you how to draft the perfect fitted pants thank you